So when we evaluate infertility, I was kind of trained or, or learned to, to think about five different factors that can affect fertility. So there's male factor and up to a third of infertility can be male factor infertility. So are there enough sperm being produced and quality sperm? Two, uh, female factor. So does a woman have regular cycles and are the hormones optimal? Three, cervical factor. Is the cervical mucus optimal? And we talked about how cervical mucus matters and how that's often bypassed with IUI. Again, a woman can be taught to make external observations to see if the cervical mucus factor is optimal or not. And if it's suboptimal, then medications or treatment can be given to optimize the cervical mucus. But when a woman is making external observations, she is literally observing fertility. And that's the power of this biomarker, is that it's a natural or God-given marker that a woman can observe with external observations to know the time when she's fertile or not. That is the fertile window, when cervical mucus can be observed externally. The fourth is sexual factor. So is the woman having intercourse at the right time during the fertile window? You'd be amazed if you were to ask women what is the fertile window or what is the fertile time, what kind of answers you would get. Um, a woman who charts her fertility and charts and is aware of certain biomarkers can, can know when she's fertile and target that time. And just by practicing fertility-focused intercourse, meaning targeting times of known fertility, it's been shown that pregnancy rates can be achieved over six to 12 months equal to that of the published rates of success by IVF centers. The fifth factor is anatomical factor. So that is trying to find any issues that might affect fertility by the anatomy uh, or that might inhibit fertility through abnormal uh, anatomy. That might include things like endometriosis, which is what I also specialize in, in treating, or adhesions or cysts or things like that. We would do surgery to try to optimize the anatomy and treat things like endometriosis, adhesions, or cysts.